welcome. Some sad news uh, has actually broke today, Wednesday, um, probably be Thursday by the time I upload this, but we have just heard the news. Sadly, that Mike Jones, aka Virgil, former World Wrestling Federation slash WWE slash WCW slash NWO pro wrestler, has passed away at the age of 61. He has suffered with ill health for the last several years, with even the latest update not even being a couple of weeks ago that saying that he had suffered uh, even more health issues. Uh, so this news, I kind of feared that this was coming. Uh, obviously you don't want it to appear, you don't want this news to break and this for things to happen. Um, but it still is obviously very sad at the same time. I had the opportunity of meeting Mike in 2011 when he came over here to Scotland for a local promotion that I used to go to uh, for their big show of the year. I believe from what I understand and what I've been told uh, since, the Million Dollar Man, Teddy Biosi, who was also booked on that show and had actually arrived a couple of days later, wasn't hugely thrilled that Virgil was here um, when the promoter told Ted that he had a bit of a surprise for him. Ted, I don't think, was entirely thrilled that it was Virgil, but apparently they did play nice uh, at least and got along during that weekend of the show. My interaction with him was actually quite nice, you know, um, obviously I posed with Ted and Virgil, they were, you know, they kind of had, they kind of reformed the World Wrestling Federation Act that they had, um, because partly, certainly around at that time in 2011, there was at least the beginning of the storyline that they rehashed a couple of times that Ted had supposedly bought that particular promotion. Obviously it wasn't true, that he never did really, and never invested in it, but the storyline at the time was that Ted was supposedly buying or going to buy the promotion. Uh, and so Virgil Dwight did act as Ted's kind of manservant bodyguard once more. Uh, obviously a few, quite a few years on from their WWE run together. I have to say though, I did enjoy the promo video that they had Virgil do um, during the couple of days between his arrival and Ted's uh, because they did show him around the local area a little bit and I think they were doing some promotion stuff as well. Uh, but they stopped off at some kind of resident state place um, and they had him do a video, which I genuinely have liked over the years. Um, you know, I like it where because the basic storyline of the promo video was supposedly that Virgil was, again, because Ted was going to be buying the promotion, uh, supposedly, um, that Virgil was looking into summer residences for Ted to buy to start establishing an, a, a kind of a base here in Scotland. Obviously, that's not the case. That was just a little storyline, but I, I kind of liked that video um, where... Mike would Mike or Virgil did that kind of promo video of supposedly looking at a couple of places and trying to decide well which ones he should recommend to Ted when Ted arrives again to try, uh, so that Ted can establish that base in Scotland um, and so I kind of enjoyed that video I can't really tell many stories about his time in a one-off appearance in Scotland the only I do know two or three stories-ish, rough-ish. The only one that I can really tell, and I'm probably not getting the whole details completely correct, but I, I, I want to include this in the story anyway because I thought it was quite funny. At one point, they did stop at least, at, I think it was like a, something like a motorway service station um, to use the toilets and the facilities and stuff. And so they well. All, and I think maybe even to get petrol as well. But certainly they did that and Mike disappeared for a couple of minutes. They were one unsure for a couple of minutes where he was. 
and he came back literally I think pretty much with greasy hands and kind of licking his fingers and um, you know obviously he had gone off not mentioned it to anybody not offered or asked anybody if they wanted anything but he had gone off somehow somewhere and again I don't have the complete full details but he'd basically gone off bought some food and ate it all before he went back to the car and apparently I believe didn't even really mention it it was obviously that he was finished you know licking his fingers and finishing off whatever food that he had eat he was eating but he just kind of got back in the car and didn't mention it which obviously the guy's showing him around um and it's got him kind of around wherever it was and doing the promotional stuff I think at the time as well um thought quite strange but I think um, in the years past they just thought it was a little bit of a funny story um, so I, I know I'm kind of not getting the full details of that story but basically what happened he disappeared for a couple of minutes obviously bought some food finished it off before getting back to the car um, and didn't even really mention it um, so again the guys thought it was a bit strange but over the years they just again um, changed their mind just thought okay, it was a bit of a hilarious story I think it was a couple of hilarious stories um, during his visit and and stuff but you know that's certainly one of them I, can't, I believe I can tell on YouTube so I think it was kind of a bit of a sad situation that um talking about fun that he, had, he did become a little bit of a figure of fun in the wrestling business the lonely Virgil meme and stuff uh, really became a big thing on social media um, I kind of hope that, that kind of led to him earning a little bit of money he wasn't well off uh, obviously in later years he was really struggling financially uh, he did release a uh, F -A -F money song as well which is probably somewhere on YouTube and there was also a Marana Meatballs kind of video game-ish thing as well and um, it's kind of sad that he became a little bit of a figure of fun later on um, and obviously it's even more sadder that you know, he had so many serious health issues these last few years and again the update just a, even a couple of weeks ago um was that he was suffering from more uh, other serious health issues again um so it is really sad to hear that he has passed away i do think that virgil or mike jones vincent whatever name you want to use he will be remembered again the world wrestling federation days uh, you know the Hulk Hogan and Andre and Savage and Piper and you know that kind of federation years of the 80s he will absolutely be mentioned because if you talk about like some Ted DiBiase and a million dollar man you talk about Virgil uh, you know that storyline where Virgil finally had enough and turned on Ted was a classic storyline it didn't work out for him in the end sadly but it, when Virgil actually turned on Ted he'd had enough of the shining the boots and being treated like crap by the million dollar man character you know fans genuinely showed Virgil a lot of support and respect at that time as I said obviously it didn't end up working out for him but it was a really classical kind of storyline um uh, often one that's I think has been certainly attempted to be redone over the years so again it's very very sad to hear that Mike Jones has passed away just at the age of 61 um you know I, I didn't get to the the signing as well I will mention um at a local supermarket I couldn't get that week off that I normally took for that big event I normally took the week off during that time period to try and get to the signings but apparently he was kind of really bantering and laying on with the ladies and actually one of the members of staff is in that, that stopped and talked to him at that signing as well and different individuals um that ended up all in conversation there was apparently at one point there was a big kind of a big groupish conversation going on obviously again I wasn't there but um so uh, he had hopefully a lot of fun um in later years even though he had his issues and troubles um hopefully he had some enjoyment uh, in his later years and again a very very sad to hear of his passing my sincerest condolences go out to his friends his family and those who knew him 
Um, it is always sad when somebody passes away. Um, I only got to meet him the once, only really interacting him with him a little bit. Um, but certainly it is sad to hear that Mike Jones has passed away. But as I said, especially in terms of the World Wrestling Federation days, especially in those 80s, he will absolutely be remembered as one of the main acts of the 1980s.